Stephen Bonnell the second um has had a allegedly had a sexting leak um my boy Stephen is a poon hound uh and more than that he is like a proper i guess he's like a proper sex addict because he has the money and the clout to like pull in all these bpd girls so he just like hits them up on instagram and then just starts goon session with them uh, i'll read this um it's a little bit embarrassing but it align apparently it aligns with other um private messages that destiny has leaked in the or had had leaked in the past uh so if this is legitimate this is pretty embarrassing um, he links to a Pornhub video, which I think is a foot fetish video. And then she replies saying, Gotta watch it on mute. Family and kids all over the place here in our house. Face palm emoji, laughing, crying emoji, X. Destiny says, ah ha ha ha, yes ma'am. He says, mm, if you can, give me a discreet vid of your little feet, smiley face. Um... And I think this is like a time skip. She replies saying, just Becca XX love emoji. I told you what happened X. Uh, Destiny asks her, and you've done group sex orgies before? She says, not by my free will. No XX heart emojis. I was forced XX. Um, lads. So first of all, if you're ever asking a girl you just met about orgies, um, you're fucking up. If she replies with, ha ha, no, I was gang raped though, tee hee, ooh woo, um, red flag, that's a red flag, that's a multiple, that's actually like a clown, like, imagine that you have a red flag stuck in the back of your throat, and you start pulling red flags, and they're all tied together, and you can feel it coming all the way out from your asshole it's just roped all the way through your intestines and stomach and you're just pulling it and the only way is to keep yanking these red flags out of your fucking mouth hole um that is the level of red flaggage that is happening when you get that response from a girl i'm just letting you know if you, i don't know if you need to be told this i'm sure some do but that's what we're talking about here uh destiny replies to a message from her saying because my parents are like super, super strict. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't go there. Don't talk to hi. And then says Seymour. Um, I guess because she was brutally gang raped, her family is now very protective. And they're like, okay, be very careful and don't get gang raped again. Um, but she now resents them for that because that's a traumatic event. And he replies saying, mm, well, fuck it. It would be so hot to drive you home from a date to make you suck me off in the car. I'd love to send... You inside to your parents after making you swallow a full load from me. Uh, this is the immediate message after I was gang raped. Teehee. She replies saying, your only purpose is life is worshiping me. Pink heart, crown emoji, woman wearing a crown emoji. Um, this is also a red flag. That is some psychotic shit. She follows up by saying, put me as your phone's wallpaper. Trust me on this crown emoji, woman wearing crown emoji, lip emoji. If you want to be kinky, then be kinky properly. Big X. Lol, auto type couldn't keep up. Laughing, crying, so many errors. He says, god damn, drooling emoji. Why are you so far away? Crying emoji. She says, I know, I know, XX heart. He says, also, god damn, if you got any more pics or vids, you need to send them too. And then I don't know what to, to call this uh, emoticon where it's like two, like the, the less, the gr greater than, period, less than. Is there a name for this emoticon sequence? If there is, please type it in chat. I don't have a name for it, but that's what he posted. Um, later on, she says, it's been fun and different sat sun for Steven. Laughing emoji, lip emoji, hand over mouth emoji, hashtag what? Um, Steven, seven hours later, replies, God, holy fuck, I just came eight times today, lol, Jesus. He says, more responses from me tomorrow, okay, okay, I'm passing out. She says, okay, X, can't wait to see them, XX, hug emoji. Um, then she says, see, I told you, I'll blow your mind. So, this is a tacit admission from Destiny that he does a seven hour long goon sesh probably longer 
where he attempts to ejaculate eight times a day. So Destiny, being elevated to a position of wealth and privilege that few people in this world can ever hope to achieve, uses that time and that position to solicit nude images from girls who are mentally, cripplingly mentally ill, um, victims of gang rape who talk about being gang raped as if it was like a silly prank pulled on her. And then goons for upwards of seven hours, at, at the minimum, seven hours a day. And if you want to know, this exactly succinctly describes why I feel Destiny believes the politics that he does. There was a documentary or some kind of like biopic, I don't know what you want to call it, that Turkey Tom put out that I watched over my hiatus. And it was just Turkey Tom and Destiny like hanging out. And it's, it's not like a great interview or anything it's just like it's i think that turkey tom really really likes sam hyde and tries to act like sam hyde does which is kind of cringe but i don't know um but there is some like interesting insights into his past and the one thing is that destiny kind of is apparently started out as like a starcraft streamer but when he was starting out streaming he was also working as a carpet cleaner uh, he had no education. I think he was a high school dropout. And he was cleaning carpets in, like, the middle of fucking Kansas or something. Like, just the most, like, dead-end job imaginable. No upward mobility. No sort of fulfillment from work. Making very little money. And then when he got into streaming and was starting to get partnerships and, you know, easily broke that $300 a week that he was making cleaning carpets part-time... Uh, in his apartment, he's like, well, fuck it. I guess I'll just do this full time now. And now he makes multiple million dollars a year. And I think that, <clears throat> I think that this is why destiny loves the status quo. Because it was, I had always kind of had lukewarm feelings towards destiny. I always kind of liked him. But watching this interview and realizing where he came from if you don't know destiny's politics are like i love everything exactly how it is right now the things i don't love about it are just the byproducts of like necessary evil we're currently on the best possible compromise considering all existing problems he's basically just like everything is great the things that are bad aren't so bad they're better than the alternatives i like things how they are now and when you realize where he came from and what his background is and where he's at now in his mind, which is saturated in pornography and instant gratification. This is, he would never risk tweaking society because in any other timeline, in any other world, in any other situation, he would still be cleaning carpets in Kansas for minimum wage. And he would never have, have been able to, have unrestricted access to mentally ill uh, Instagram girls that talk about getting gang raped like it was a silly party. Um, so that's my that's my perspective on Destiny. I really feel like his entire worldview is centered around this concept that he lucked out and he really knows that he lucked out and he desperately wants things to continue on their current trajectory where he can sit around and goon all day and not have to work because he knows if he ever has to work again if there's a communist takeover or a fascist takeover uh he's dead it doesn't matter if it's paul pot or stalin or hitler or mussolini or mao zedong or emperor hirohito all of those people would look at destiny and instantly kill him uh or have or rather have him executed summarily and yeah, the Turkey Time documentary really made me think, wow, this guy is just a piece of fucking shit. <laughs> there's no mystique. There's no... And then he's doing this thing, by the way. I don't even have these clips ready to go. I might be able to find them um, if I do a little digging real quick. Um, but he he's, cur uh, he's currently doing this thing. My internet's probably not fast enough. Um, where he just goes on like a tangent that can be easily clipped out of context and um 
Here it is. Okay, I do actually have this. Maybe I can pull this up on Twitter and just bypass the lo slow loading of the Kiwi Farms for Lucky. If this plays, though, you'll, I, I, I can explain it much more easily. Okay, I'll just try to explain it anyways as we wait for it to load. Um, he goes on these bizarre tangents where he says dumb shit that can easily be taken out of context in like a one to three minute soundbite. And his goal is that he wants to put so much dumb shit out there that seems obviously dumb that people will take it and share it. And this is his idea of like um, trying to break through and acquire more fans. And it's the dumbest strategy that you could ever come up with. Uh, it, it's literally something that Christian tried to do. When Christian was um, new to the new, like just just got on Encyclopedia Dramatica, he did this exact same thing. I'll explain after the clip plays. Uh, it was such a horrible trip. Oh my god. Oh, let me let it preload. He did the thing with ED where he also uploaded like all this bullshit and he just assumed that if he uploaded all this bullshit then the trolls and haters wouldn't be able to keep up and there would be too much information about him out there and it would like collapse the whole trolling architecture and it didn't work. Everyone just documented all the shit that he uploaded and then uploaded the attempt to distort information and made fun of him regardless. And that's exactly what's going to happen with Destiny. It was such a horrible trip. Oh my god. Oh, I guess it's not going to play. Maybe I can try to download it from the forum. <laughs> Will the Kiwi Farms be faster than Hex? Let's find out. Uh-oh. I don't think it... This is a 22-second clip. This this file is like one megabyte. <laughs> it's like a one megabyte file. Okay, let's risk it. I bet I can race. It was such a horrible trip. Oh my god. Normally, whenever me and Melina would travel, um, we would usually only do cuck stuff for a single night. But because Nim, I guess she really wanted like somebody who was like Middle Eastern and had like a 15 inch dick or whatever, because it's like four times bigger than mine, I had to do it for four nights. They said they would lock me in the corner of the room and just I would be getting cucked over and over and over again. It's a brutal trip. So, this is a joke, like theoretically. Um, and. The issue with this joke is that, number one, it's self-deprecating. Number two, it's not really obviously a joke. Number three, he already has a reputation for being a cuckold. Number four, there's already a rumor that um, his girlfriend was fucking this guy because she made, like, fucky eyes at him. and try I think this was the guy that, he that she tried to lick. Like, his ongoing girlfriend tried to lick his face. Oh. English. No, I'm just doing the Here, this is it. Give him so this, a this is Destiny's girlfriend or, or wife. I think girlfriend at the time. Oh, kiss on the cheek. And then uh, it's probably not going to load just because of my luck, but she tries to like lean in and lick his face, and Destiny has to come in and interrupt. And this laid like the foundation that number one, he's a cuckold. Oh, okay. oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not okay with it. Ew, you I'm not okay it. with that. Because he, he knows that's really embarrassing. And then years later, after this rumor circulates for years and years that he's a cuckold and she's fucking this guy that she leans in to lick his fucking face like a dog, he comes in and says that, yeah, by the way... Like a 15-inch dick or whatever, because it's like four times bigger than mine, I had to do it for four nights. They said they would lock me in the corner of the room and just I would be getting cucked over and over and over again. It's a brutal trip. So the problem is, is that the information overload Chris Chan thing is not going to work. Because all you're doing is self-deprecating, and it already it conforms to what people already know about you. So all they're going to do is exactly what happened here. They're going to take the clip, they're going to put it, and they're going to say, Haha, this Islamic Chad giga-fucked his wife, and he would just sat there and masturbated like a little bitch boy. And it's going to get shared 25,000 times and be watched 13 million times. Like... That's the outcome of this. But he really thinks it's like some kind of 2000 IQ, Sam Hyde, like what's real? This character is so deep. I can't tell what's real and what's like a character, man. I need to go watch Destiny streams to figure out like what's real and what's not. Who is the real guy? I can't figure it out just by watching these clips, bro. Oh, is this like a bunch of bot accounts? I thought maybe chat was like, Doing a thing. 
there's literally no point in trying to like ban all the bots and i don't really care about the about the dreaded n-word so i'm just gonna um let it run oh it's on is it on kick or is it on rumble oh it's on kick Mm, I, I would hate to make the kickers go over to Rumble, but I want to have to do it because that's like a spam thing. It's not fair to the other chats. All right, I'm just going to kick you guys, um, kick the kick chat off, and you'll have to use Rumble, unfortunately. I can't believe, I can't believe it, chat. Evil Eddie, man. Evil Eddie flipped the switch. Evil Eddie took it all back. Evil Eddie, that fucking bitch. The BMG, no, it's all like random characters. That's like all bot accounts. There's like one guy. Um, cool. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.